Drake responded to Kendrick, allegedly. The people ask me how I'm feeling. I'm gonna let you know how I'm feeling. Listen, the way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling tonight about your fucking self. Cause you know how I'm feeling? I got my fucking head up high, my back straight, I'm 10 fucking toes down in Florida or anywhere else I go. And I know that no matter what, it's not a nigga on this earth that can ever fuck with me in my life. And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. What up, words? Your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. So, if I was a betting man, right? And I am a betting man. I am a very, I bet a lot, right? I would think that this little diatribe from Drake, this little, uh, this little soliloquy from Drake is in response to Kendrick. There is zero reason for this to take place. I know the shows that they do, they say things and da da, but most of the time these little rants in between songs are based on something that happened in real life. So I believe when I listen to this and I, I feel the emotion, he's trying to tell his fans, I'm not tripping, dog. I know y'all want me to respond and I know y'all want bars and bars will probably come, but I'm not really tripping off this dude. I got a big house. I got a big bag of money. I could, I could fill my swimming pool with money and my accountant wouldn't even call me because it doesn't mean nothing to me. He doesn't care. So at the, at the, that's the image he's trying to show to his fan base, right? That's what this little thing, that's why they're cheering. Yeah, we rocking with you, Drake, right? Now, let's be honest. I'm going to take it even further because I feel like, yeah, this response, if you're going to call it a response, was the energy that he wants to get to, to project to Kendrick and his fans and da-da-da. Now, what you think Kendrick doing with that energy? I'm sure he saw it. I'm sure at this point somebody sent him. He probably got 100 people sending him the video. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say something that's going to be a little controversial. But I think Kendrick laughed at that. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Because when you get to a dude, the worst thing they can say is, I'm not bothered. That's like when you're in the schoolyard and it's a dude just bothering you, bothering you, bothering you. And you say, I'm not scared of you. Right? That means you're scared of him. I'm just going to be honest. Nine times out of ten, when you say, I'm not scared of you, that means you're scared. You're telling yourself you're not scared. Now, I'm not saying Drake's scared. Drake can handle his life. Drake, I just heard a video. I heard just heard a, uh, 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 they saying it's AI. But I just heard leaked, a leaked audio of what Drake allegedly is going to respond with. Now, that sounds like Drake to me. Everybody's saying it's AI. And it probably is AI in this day and age. But it sounded pretty damn aggressive and pretty... I don't know if an AI can be very aggressive. You know what I'm saying? But he went at Kendrick. And it was a nice... The verse was kind of low-key okay. It would have been a nice little little light jab. Like, yo, son, I got, I'm got. i nice with these too. Don't play with your boy. Because I sing and I do this and that. I get in your boy. So I was like, yo, go on Twitter and find that verse. Like I said, a lot of people saying, obviously, AI. It's obviously. It wasn't that obvious to me. I'm sorry. It sounded like it sound like somebody got a glimpse of this dude spitting a verse at Kendrick, and they put it out there. Now, you tell me why it sound like it's obviously AI. Like, all the comments are obviously, right? But the verse was okay. I liked it. I was like, I like this energy. This Drake right here. Right? He basically, yo, go find that verse of... of Allegedly. Now they did it with Eminem. Right? They they did a they did an AI response. Like you could tell. Some of these joints you could tell. But this one sounded a little bit. I don't know, bro. And whoever wrote this kinda like kinda like was alright. I'ma give it to you. And it sounded like some stuff Drake would say. It sounded like some stuff Drake would say. So I think Drake really got something coming out but at this point he has to because i'm gonna tell you why now listen you can ignore right 
at a level he's on, you could he could just ignore this guy. But you can't ignore him now when you eagerly went at Meek and you eagerly went at this guy and that guy. You can't ignore him now. That would mean low key. I'm not scared of you. Right? That's what that's going to mean if you don't punch back and punch back viciously. It don't it could be just one verse. It could be just one verse. Now, this is the thing about the bully in the schoolyard. If you scared of him or not, right? I've been there. I had dudes. I was like, yo, I'm going to have to punch this. Don't tired of it. I'm just sick of this, right? But end of the day, you might punch that dude and get like, you might well up all your strength and hit him. Bang. And it might make him bad matter. It might make it worse, right? I've seen dudes stand up to the bully and get beat up worse. Now, I'm not saying that Kendrick is the bully and Drake is the victim, right? These two dudes on the schoolyard, they both, they both, what they say, the, when, they, when they, the, 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 the most popular, voted most popular, these are the two most popular kids in school, right? And if they fight, I don't, I don't believe that Drake is going to be afraid. But I'm going to be honest with you, and I, and I have no problem. I like Drake. I like Kendrick. I like Cole. I low-key feel that Drake does not want, he really does not want to battle Kendrick. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. He's been going at Future for over a year and a half, allegedly, with this, everything that he's been saying on For All The Dogs. was a, Now we all figuring out, oh, damn, this is all about Future right here. Everything he's saying about Future, right? I didn't know that. Who knew that until now? Now you listen back, you're like, it's obviously about future, right? But I don't think, I don't know why. Somebody explain in the comments. There is something about Kendrick that this dude does not want to ignite. I don't know why. He's clearly able to handle himself with him, but he should have got in Kendrick years ago. I'm going to tell you why. I've seen him go on different podcasts or shows and say oh well talk about the control verse which obviously agitates him to this day and he'll say well what are we are we really listening to that now these days that he obviously has little to no respect for the verse it irritates him just to even bring it up and he's, he's throwing shots at kendrick and he's he just recently i believe that this thing that kendrick just threw at him is his own fault because he went on stage and was like i don't take years off with this music. I'm not like these other guys. That obviously was a jab at Kendrick, which obviously woke him up. He pucked his head up. He like, I'm over here getting self-help. I'm making Mr. Morale. And the big step was I'm in therapy. And this dude comes for me. Right? So I obviously this along with Metro Boomin and Future calling him like, yo, get this thing. I got a whole space. It's obviously a an a obviously a coordinated attack it's obviously and this is this is what i'm gonna say future can't get him like this metro don't rap so he can't get him like this so you get the third party who eager he got something to say and they probably in a group chat together been talking about this dude for a year anyway right and it's always over girl can we stop these beefs over these females right allegedly over some girl right but I'm going to leave it at this. Respond or don't, it doesn't even matter. Because at this point, this dude is controlling his battle. He duck his head in and duck it out when he feel like it. He miss whatever little stray shrapnel y'all throwing. It don't hit him. It, it misses him completely. He goes back into his bubble. He come out a year later, say something even wilder. More disrespectful. A K with all these nines. He coming out. And Drake has not focused, he has not looked down from that mountain on this guy and took an aim on him like Zeus and flamed him. He hasn't done that yet. And I don't know if he possibly can at this point. Once you take this long, whatever you say now got to be hot fire. It got to be Dylon, 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 and Dylon. So let me know what you think. Is Drake going to respond? Is this even a response? Is this enough? Is this enough for his fans? Remember, he got called off 
Well, his pushing response because it was too disrespectful. Remember that? It was too disrespectful. All right? They called me and told me, I don't want to ruin, ruin my career. It's too disrespectful. So let's find out. My name is Charles Brown. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Go over to CLBMG. Every Wednesday night, we do the What Show. Every Tuesday night, we do the Mix Down. Every Monday night, we do Old Heads Only on CLBMG Network. Let me know what you're waiting for. Share the video. Show some love. Like I said, we just hit a million views. I appreciate y'all. Peace. CLB.